Welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here's your latest for Thursday, October 17th, 2024. World Chain goes live on Mainnet. Merkle proposes the ZK Sync Ignite program. EthOS introduces the DGen 1 hardware device. And core developers agree to add EAP7742 to Pectra DevNet 5. All this and more starts right now. WorldChain, an identity-focused Layer 2 network built on the OP stack, is now live on Mainnet. WorldChain gives priority block space access to wallet addresses that are verified through WorldID's proof-of-personhood credentials. The network powers World Network, formerly known as WorldCoin, the digital identity protocol founded by OpenAI's Sam Altman. Infrastructure providers Alchemy, Uniswap, Dune Analytics, and Safe have rolled out support for the network. WorldChain users can now swap or provide liquidity on Uniswap v2 and v3. World has a global user base of 10 million, with over 5 million users having verified their identities through the project's iris scanning orb device. Verified World ID users can now access free transactions for transactions executed using the World app. Rewards platform Merkle published the first ZK Sync governance proposal, seeking to allocate 300 million ZK tokens over nine months to incentivize DeFi liquidity on ZK Sync era. Coined as the ZK Sync Ignite program, the initiative aims to position ZK Sync era as a leading DeFi hub, boost total value locked on the rollup, and enhance liquidity across elastic chains powered by ZK Sync. The proposal requests a total of 325 million ZK tokens, with 25 million tokens set aside for administrative expenses. Merkle plans to oversee the program's operations, including website management, rewards distribution, and technical support. A new DeFi steering committee would oversee token allocations and evaluate the program's performance. The proposal is currently open for community discussion ahead of an on-chain vote scheduled for November of this year. ETHOS, an Ethereum-native mobile operating system provider, unveiled DGen1, a new hardware wallet device powered by ETHOS. The device includes a dedicated screen for displaying transaction notifications and metadata. DGen1 features a Web3 browser and a system-level wallet with Layer 2 support for seamless interactions with supported applications. ETHOS is based on Lineage OS, a popular Android fork, and features a native trustless-like client, enabling users to run an Ethereum local node. The operating system also supports IPFS and .eth domain resolution. The DGen1 device is currently available for pre-order for 0.2 ETH, with shipping expected in Q2 of 2025. And lastly, during this week's Awkward Devs Consensus Layer call, Ethereum developers and client teams agreed to include EIP-7742 in Pectra DevNet 5. EIP-7742 introduces a mechanism for the execution layer to dynamically receive the blob target value directly from the consensus layer. With EIP-7742, the execution layer no longer needs to verify blob maximum limits, enabling more seamless adjustments to blob parameters. The change also eliminates redundancies, simplifies block construction, and incorporates the target value into the block header. In other news, Vitalik publishes a new post outlining possible futures for the Ethereum Protocol Part 2. Nethermind releases version 1.29.1 of its client, and OpenZeppelin releases OpenZeppelin Contracts version 5.1. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.